All right, guys, let's go ahead and watch this movie and then circle back and talk about it. Why aren't you in your office? Well, I wouldn't say I have an office office, but in the real world, it's my office. I don't get... I drive the bus. Um, you are a driver? Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. Um, I was closing the area today. I was hoping maybe I could hang out. Tony, you're very rude. Even if your brain ceases to work, your eyes shouldn't. If you take a good look at the organogram of this company, I am by all means your boss. And I see that as an act of insubordination. Secondly, I cannot stop so low with a common driver like you. You? What are you doing on that chair? Are you deaf or something? What are you doing on that chair? Okay. I think I need to get the security to throw you out and the boss must hear of this. Oh! Thank goodness. <laughs> Babe, can you imagine this good for nothing driver has the guts to sit on your chair? Boss, the fire you requested for. Susan, when I met you, I liked you and I gave you a lift. And we got close and you mentioned you were filling your CV on my company's account. I gave you a job. I decided to play a driver. That is my manager, Mr. Patrick. Susan, you don't belong here. Huh. Right, guys, so let's talk about this one beyond words. And this really has to do with you know, testing somebody prior to a relationship. Now, and I'm going to start by asking this as a question because you know what? There's a lot of controversy around, you know, testing somebody, you know, pretending to be somebody else to see if somebody likes you and whatnot. Uh, you know, there's a lot of controversy around that. And I feel like it's one of those things that you could actually make a reasonable argument why it's not a good idea. Uh, you know, people, when they decide to be who they are, you know, they decide that, okay, yeah, I want to marry a rich man. I mean, your father might be as poor as anything, but, you know, it's just a dream and an aspiration, you know, and yeah, everybody's entitled to their own dreams. It's understandable that they, they don't want to suffer, right? Although, you know, they don't want to do the work, but the truth is that when you meet good people, they treat people right, whether they are rich or poor, you get? And that's one of the reasons why you see a lot of people that would still test. You know, usually, as far as I know, people that are broke don't go around testing people. You know, it's usually people that feel like they have come a long way in life, you know, they are definitely going to change the other party in question. So if this girl is going to be his partner, he knows for a fact that he's going to change her life. So it's understandable that you want to make sure that you are dealing with somebody that has conscience, somebody that has respect, somebody that, you know, was brought up right, somebody that you know, maybe whatever the situation is, you know, they can handle themselves. And for a lot of people that say it's not, wait till when you are rich, you will start seeing a lot of things differently because it's not the same eye you used to see somebody when you are broke. It's the same eye you are going to used to see the person when you are now well made. You know, there's a little difference. And, you know, that difference is something that you would wish that when you're finding a life partner that you will identify, you will identify the goodness in them deep inside their heart. You know, if there's somebody that's weird, you want to know they're weird. If somebody that has a good heart, you want to know this. Uh, you want to know both their in and out, the kind of person they are, how they think, you know, besides just what they um, write or what they post on social media, you want to really know more. So yes, 
I don't think there's anything wrong with testing somebody, especially when you know you're about to change their life. Now, in this case, you can see he even went a step further, gave her the job. Although he's the owner of the company, he just acted as the driver and then gave her the job. And <laughs> you guys need to go and watch the movie because there's a big ton of events in this. The link to the movie is at the bottom, in the description. So go and, you know, take a look at it. You will definitely understand maybe why it's a good idea for people to, you know, test justifiably. So my thoughts is that, you know, him testing her is the right thing to do. Uh, that he decided to be a driver and, you know, take himself totally off the corporate world. So didn't even enter as a junior staff. It was a driver. You know, it's him just trying to see how she would treat him. People might wonder, now that he's a driver, what exactly is, is he expecting her to do? To date a driver? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> you know, you tell me. Uh, but the truth is, if you come across somebody that helped you get ahead in life, you know, one thing you shouldn't do is talk down on them, you know, because she did a lot of that, you know, not addressing him right, you know, you know, referring to him as a common driver, you know, telling him that he doesn't have sense because he came to shoot his shot, you know, and all those stuff that were totally unnecessary. So even if you were to reject him, I think the manner of the rejection was horrible. And that's what now made him make that decision at the end that he doesn't even want her in the company at all. This is just a lesson. What are we taking out of this? Even if you don't want somebody, you know, in a relationship, still be kind, still, you know, tell them the right way. You know, uh, don't be abusive, don't insult them, you know, because a lot of ladies do this. You know, you don't want somebody, instead of just telling them, you know what, sorry, I can't date you, I have my reasons, you know, you start abusing them. Look at this idiot, look at this, this, you can go and find your class, you know, nonsense human being, stupid idiot, imbecile, guy, guy, you know, guy, but now that list, they're long. You know, if you go through everything that we have heard on social media on how people are, you know, discharging a guy that came to toast them, even yourself will feel bad. All those are unnecessary. Just be kind enough to tell them in a nice way that you're not interested. And if it ends up that, you know, um, at least if things turn out to be a little test, then, you know, the person would have seen the kindness in how you talk. That's pretty much it on this. If you love this kind of content, please like, share, subscribe, follow. This is CJ from Atlantic Studios. And as always, I'm here to deliver sense.